hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to be making um the pattern of a particular bag i posted earlier that i'll be posting the tutorial i had made the tutorial about two times now but i lost the footage so but here it is so the i'm using 11 inches for the width of my bag i'm just marking that out now So I'm straightening out my lines, that's the width and I'm going to be, I'm just trying to see how tall I want my bag to be. So yeah, I'm straightening out the lower part of my pattern paper so my pattern won't have any um, off measurements. So I want my bag to be split into two, In this kind of bag actually has um two parts the lower part and the top part then before you know you attach the base so for the lower part i'm going for i think i use two inches yes two inches for the lower part oh okay i actually used two and a half sorry about that two and a half for the lower part and then four inches for the upper part it's just a small cute bag you can actually extend the pattern and make it bigger if you're trying to you know make a bigger sized bag okay so i'm just straightening up my lines now and i'm taking one and a half from both sides trust me the pattern will make sense once we are you know marking it out that's for the slant so i'm marking out one and a half from both sides okay so we're just going to straighten out the lines we marked that one and a half from both sides excluding the lower part we're only marking out that one and a half from the upper part of the pattern now i'm just going to mark my slant straight down i connect the top part of the bag and the lower part of the um, bag with that slant now i i felt that my slant was too much so i reduced it to um I think that should be one inch left i i took one and a half from that top i reduced it to one inch and i'm just curving those edges and then cutting out my pattern okay so i'm just you know trimming out all the excesses and i'm just trying to find the right fit i'm going to recurve and reshape until the pattern is what i want it to look like So I'm just trying to, you know, see if it looks right and see if I would make any adjustments. So I want to adjust the curve over there. I feel the curve is too sharp. I'm going to make it more rounded. I'm going to make it more rounded again. You know what? It's just uh, trying to find the right shape for the pattern. I think pattern making has to actually be my favorite part of bag making it's so i don't know i just love it so much okay so i think we have the right fit for the body of our bag now remember i said we are splitting it into two so i'm just going to cut it now we have the top part and we have the lower part of our pattern so that's what it looks like So now we're going to go ahead and take out a um, quarter of an inch from the top part of our pattern. That quarter of an inch we are taking out, it's going to be, um, how do I say, the zipper allowance, okay? You know, by the time we attach our zipper, it's going to be adding that quarter inch back to our bag, you understand? So we're going to take out that quarter of an inch. Now I'm just sketching this out with my hands because I can actually um, just get the measurements but you can just mark it out mark out your quarter of an inch all through that part of the bag then draw out your shape and just trim it out
okay so i'm just making sure everything matches and there's no off you know both sides are not different from each other So that's what it looks like when we are done now our next step is going to be to draw out our base we'll be using eight inches in width and three and a half inch in height i guess yeah just going to draw that out straighten out your lines and then cut it out So what we want to do next is curve the edges of the base. You can just use anything round to curve it out to give it a nice rounded shape. So we have our base now. So my next step is to cut out the um, strap connector by cutting out the strap connector. So you just plot out your measurements and then we'll shape it out. Okay so I used them two, and, 2 inches for the height and one and a half for the width. I'm just taking out a little bit at the sides at that upper part you know. The upper part of the strap connector it's um, always smaller to fit the whatever type of ring we are using for the bag maybe a D ring or a rectangle ring. So most times most of my patterns are just rough sketches then I straighten it out. And make sure that both sides are in the same um, shape or measurement guys I'm sorry some of this is kind of off camera I didn't notice my camera had shifted okay so I'm just cutting out all the edges and making sure everything is the same shape now we have our strap connector ready So I already cut out that those places are where I'm going to mark out where the strap connector will be placed on my bag. Now this is just a strip of uh, leather I have lying around. I wanted to check the best measurement for the strap of the bag, the shorter strap. So I've already got my measurements and I'm just going to measure it out. Okay, so we'll be using um, 13 inches for our short strap. Now I'm just going to plot out the pattern for the short strap of the bag okay so firstly I'm marking out one and a half inch that's for the excess that's going to be folded in in my short strap I mark out my 13 inches which is the main length of the short strap okay so I'm just marking out the um, width of my strap I used one and a half inch so I'm just straightening out the sides of my pattern to avoid any um, incorrect measurements Oh, okay I actually used 1.75 which is one inch and uh, one and three quarters of an inch so here I'm just sketching out the excess on the lower part of my strap basically that's what is going to look like that part that um, shoots out is what is going to be folded in Just checking to see if all my measurements are correct and now I'm going to cut it out and make sure that both ends of the um, strap pattern are the same so most times what does what I usually do if I'm having two parts like two sides two edges I'll just sketch out one first then use that one to draw the other so they won't be different
okay guys so we are done we have our strap now we have all parts of our patterns um okay no we have one left actually you know when we join the sides of our bag like at the side the lower part of the bag when we join the sides they has to be something covering up that place now i'm just slanting that lower part of the bag so it um, aligns perfectly when i want to join my bag so it has to have a slight curve so at the end of the day when you join it it appears straight if we don't slant it that lower part is going to shoot out so i'm just trying to get the best measurement for the strip of leather that will be covering up that part okay so we are good to go we have all our patterns ready we're moving on to the sewing 